My name is Martin Gray. I'm a National Geographic photographer and cultural anthropologist. My specialty, pilgrimage traditions and sacred sites of the world. If you'd like to see my work, there's a website, Places of Peace and Power at sacredsites.com. I first heard about Graham Hancock. I'd read some of his books, one of them, for research I was doing for a writing project. Then I followed Graham's work, and an interesting thing, he came out with a book called Fingerprints of the Gods. And in this book, he examines, and this is 1995, 20 years ago that he did this book, he examines evidences of mysterious structures around the world that couldn't have been crafted, constructed, by the people that a lot of contemporary archaeology say did it. Graham would say, no, here's a number of things at these places that seem to indicate they're far older. And he shows that there's many of these places around the planet, and what he's saying is, who is it? When was this? And in his most recent books, he's talking about a really interesting thing called the end, the beginning and the end of the Younger Dryas. It's a geological period that happened very suddenly 12,800 years ago. And 1,200 years after that, 11,600 years ago, it stopped. What was that? And he said there was a large cometary object that came into the atmosphere of the Earth, came in and maybe broke up into four pieces, but one of them was four or five miles in diameter, and it came in at 70,000 miles per hour, and it smashed into the polar ice cap at the top, and it just melted things so much, and it went into these huge floods all over the northern hemisphere, and the sea level went up very quickly, in a week could have gone up 10 meters, and it devastated life everywhere. And the magicians are the ones that came after this, and they brought civilization back, and they seeded civilization, and, and Plato talks about this, and Grant talks about Atlantis, and fantastic things, and the neat thing about his presentations is you get to see some slides, you get to see images, and you get him. But you get to be with Graham, and Graham is a great guy to be with. He's a really, really fine speaker, English scholar, so I really suggest, if you want to have a good time, creative life, you can buy the tickets on the World Views website. Um, this is a very good opportunity, so I'll be there.